Welcome to D-Lab. In this video, we're going to be installing this SDS capacitor board into this Dynaco PAS preamp. Here we go. Well, here it is, the Dynaco PAS stereo preamp from the original owner has never been worked on. So what the task is, is he wants me to replace the main filter cap. These two caps with a selenium rectifier, we're going to do that with the SDS Labs all-in-one circus board, all right? So let's get this stuff out of the way and get the new board installed. All right, so there's two ways that you can get these boards. You can buy them fully populated from Triode Electronics, or you can buy just the blank circuit board, which I do, and then I put on my own parts. So this one is all populated, ready to install, and it's gonna actually sit right on that same stud as the old original assembly. So the best way to attack this is just to remove this stuff. The installation instructions are on Triode Electronics website. All right, so you pretty much cut the wires, get this assembly out of the way. This stud is pretty long. I usually cut it off, put a spacer for the new circuit board. Now, I've already posted a very detailed video of installation of these boards into the PAS okay so I'm actually doing this video for the owner so that he can watch the process on his preamp part of the process is, is this is the multi-section filter cap here which is this guy down here okay that's also going to be replaced by the same board so this board does the upper caps plus lower caps so we're pretty much going to cut all this away we're going to move that wiring top side but I'm going to go ahead and reuse the rectifier tube. This board does have the option. You can put in diodes in place of that tube or you can run the tube. He's elected to keep it. So here we go. So I have cut and raised the terminals off the filter cap. It's going to remain here and we're going to reuse simply the ground points, okay? But these resistors are up on our new board. So all this will be removed. Well, part of this project is improving the AC that comes into the Dynaco. Original design did not include a power fuse. So you see I put a chassis mount style right here next to the rectifier tube, which is also next to the power transformer. And there is already an access hole where the line cord can come up and hit it. Some people actually install the line fuse here between these two boards, I believe that's a bad idea because now your AC is pretty close to your preamp board and it could pick that up. So I prefer to locate it over here. You can tuck it between the rectifier tube and the chassis so the side wall of the cabinet comes up here, clears it just fine. All right, the other high failure rate item on the Dynaco is this little slide power switch, okay? The reason it fails is because at the same time that you're turning on the preamp itself, let me flip it around, you're also turning on these switched outlets. And most people connect their power amps to these outlets. Okay, so if you have the ST70, you're gonna use one. If you got the monoblocks, obviously you're gonna use both. And that puts too much current demand on that slide switch. Because if you look down here, just a little tiny power switch is probably only rated at about two amps if you're lucky. And when that fails, it's kind of a pain to find. And replacement is not that easy either. You have to pull the whole front panel off. So to eliminate that problem, I have added a really cool feature to the Dynaco. Let me show you. So here we are bottom side, and you see there's this new orange thing that's been added to the chassis. That is a eight amp PC mount type of relay, okay? Low profile, so it clears the bottom panel easily. What I do is I have, of course, the fuse that you saw. The fuse power protects the preamp. Then that hot line actually comes down and goes direct to this relay. This relay is actually being turned on and off by the power switch. And when it activates, it turns on those switched outlets and takes the stress off the power switch. 
I'm going to go ahead and post a diagram in case you want to do this. It's fairly simple. You just glue this guy in place, add your fuse holder, change some wiring, and then you've got great high current power available for your separate amplifiers. All right, let's give the uh, new AC switching system a quick self test. So I got my meter set up across the switch outlets, all right? So now I'll plug in the PAS and we have no voltage present. You'll see a little bit of floating AC, that's typical. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on the slide switch and if you listen, you're gonna hear that relay pull in and you have your 120 volts AC available on the outputs. Here we go. So there is your high current 125 volts that would go to your separate amplifiers. That line is not fused, okay? That's coming right off the line cord. The only thing that is fused is this, the PAS itself, okay? There's like a little half amp fuse to protect that circuitry. You will rely on the fusing in your separate amplifier following these switches, okay? So there it is. Cool little method, you can add it for about 10 bucks. To simplify the installation of the high current AC switching into your Dynaco preamp, I've made a nice little line diagram, all right? All you're actually adding is some wiring, the relay, and the new fuse. So let's go to the line diagram. I came in right off of the unswitched outlets and grabbed that AC. So you see one line goes up to the relay contact waiting to be switched to the switched outlets, okay? The line also goes up to the fuse, through that half amp fuse to the power switch, and then it goes to the primary of the power transformer which powers up the preamp. Then I tagged off of that to activate RY1, which is turning on your switched outlets, removing the stress from the power switch. All right, so the AC section has been upgraded and that's working fine. Now I'm getting ready to power up the preamp and I wanna make sure that our DC board is doing its job and that there's no shorts. So first thing I'm gonna do is take my own meter here and go to the high voltage feeds. So this one goes to PC6. This one goes to PC5. What I want to make sure of is there's no shorts. And here, it's the main high voltage coming in from the 12X4 tube. So no shorts to ground on the high voltage. So I'm gonna bring it up on a variac, make sure we see the lights come on, the tubes light up, and we'll monitor the high voltage. So my meter is set up on the thousand volt scale and I'm looking at the output of the 12X4 tube where it enters our new board. I'm on a Bariac, so we'll bring her up slow. Watch her meter. She'll start seeing some DC. I do see the pilot light down here illuminating. So we do have the filament voltage. Here comes our high voltage. I'm watching my amp meter over here. Drawing about an eighth of an amp. And I'm about 90 volts input. So it appears as though she's coming to life and nothing's smoking. All right, it's a good sign. So then we've got our other high voltage feeds. One's here, going to PC5. And the other one is here, going to PC6. So the high voltage is present. Right now it's low because I'm only at 90 volts input. Now I'm gonna go ahead and unplug it. We'll apply full power and let's put a signal into it. I've got the PAS with full power applied. I'm gonna check just the left input at this time and then I'll switch over to the right. I have not cleaned any switches so we may see a little bit of distortion while I'm turning things up. I've got an audio generator going to the FM input. Okay, I'm gonna bring up the volume. Let's take a look at the scope. There she is. One of the tone controls doing its thing. Good sign. Let's check the other channel. There we are, the other side. Bring up my volume. Yep, there's 
my tone controls again. So we are passing signals through the preamp. I've already verified the tubes are good, and these are the original Dynacos made in West Germany. How cool is that? Well, this little Dynaco preamp upgrade went really smooth, partially due to the fact that it was a one owner unit, unmodified, and no messy maintenance, okay? So that made it easy for me. I actually do a lot of Dynaco work. I just don't put a lot of those videos out, but I will be doing that. I actually have the matching ST70 amp sitting over here from the same owner, same condition. I've already rebuilt it. So we will be putting these two units together and demonstrating them for your enjoyment, okay? So this preamp now has the new SDS cap board installed and the high current AC switching to get the stress off the power switch. So this thing is probably better than new. <laughs> now, to let you guys in on a little secret, you know, we had this board, we got the relay switching, fuse holder, etc. D-Lab is soon going to release a circuit board that has all that consolidated, okay? Because these SDS boards are actually pretty hard to find now. I don't know if they're still in business, but the board prices are going up. So I thought, okay, it's time for me to take what I've done and offer a kit or offer the service to you for your Dynaco unit. So keep an eye on D-Lab. I'll be releasing that soon.